Hi everybody, Loretta, your food story host in my kitchen here in Vernon, British Columbia, Canada. How to nourish your food story even before you take your first bite. And let's talk about your serving uh, platter or what are you going to put your food on. Because I believe that how you serve it, what you put it on is going to invite people to want to partake. And that in itself is very nourishing. So you can have boards, like if you are doing a charcuterie board or a grazing board, obviously there's beautiful boards like this one. It smells so good and it's, it's wooden and carved. If you've been seeing my Instagram posts, you'll also see I've been using a round board. Also, this one here is pretty popular. This is just a butcher's, butcher's block, butcher's board. And then if you've got even cutting boards, I mean, you've been serving or you've been cutting, chopping up your vegetables, why not put it on your board and have it on the side so you already have like a container for the board. Consider using even like cupcake holders uh, or uh, these are mini, mini pans, uh, you know, the mini cupcake holders. And you could put, you know, vegetables in here. You've got your pizza. Well, Slice up your pizza, maybe half of it, put the other half in the oven, and then on the other side, put on, you know, some of your extras or, you know, veggies or something like that. Make it really rustic looking. Obviously, you've got other beautiful boards. Sorry for the noise. I've got this. This is actually a glass one. Lends itself well for putting your food on. And finally, how about a cookie sheet? So a sheet, sheet pan meals are fabulous. I just uh, used this last night for our meal. And you put that uh, meal right onto the table from, from your, you know, you, your tray right onto the table and have at her. So nourishing, so nourishing and inviting people to relax and, and take a look at the presentation. Three tips I want to give you when it comes to what to choose to put your food on when you're serving it this way. And so uh, you want to make sure, let's write this down here, I have it on my notes. You want to make sure it's portable so that you're taking it from wherever you actually have chopped up or uh, you know your, your, your food and you put it on, on the board. Um, it's, it's portable, There's, the size is adequate, and thirdly, is it sturdy enough? Because you're going to have to transport this thing, um, maybe even outside. So, is it portable? Uh, is it big enough? And is it sturdy? And so when you present your meals like this, I can promise you that you will be nourished because all of the people will be just so excited about what you're presenting if you're the one that's put the, the, the food together this way. And then obviously they will be nourished too. And that's how you nourish your food story even before you take the first bite. For more tips and recipes and all kinds of other information, including events coming up, go to my website, yourfoodstory.com and look, at the new, look for the newsletter uh, sign up list. Okay, bye for now.